When Disney and Pixar create one of their movies, they spend millions of dollars to do so. This money is used to fund writers, storyboard creators, animators, and voice actors. With all of that money, you would think there wouldn't be much room for error when it comes to continuity surrounding one of their films. Turns out, you would be wrong. In this video, we're going to discuss 10 minor errors you may have missed in Disney and Pixar films. Frozen Magically appearing sword? First up, we have the 2013 instant hit, Frozen. In this movie, we see Elsa struggling to understand her mysterious ice powers. After an incident where Elsa, out of fear, freezes over the entire kingdom, she flees into the mountains. That's where she learns to let it go, so to speak. One mistake that sticks out to musicians almost immediately is the fact that Kristoff uses a four-stringed guitar, which is fine. Many instruments have four strings, not usually guitars, but that isn't really the issue here. What's wrong is that while this guitar has four strings, it also has three tuning pegs. Where does that fourth string go to? More importantly, how did he tune it for that duet he did with Sven? Sadly, with Frozen, these discrepancies do not stop with the instruments. Do you remember when Hans is approaching Elsa and telling her that Anna was killed by her ice magic? Then a moment later, Hans is wielding a rather large blade that he plans to attack Elsa with. If you look at the moment he approaches her, he isn't carrying a weapon, and there is nowhere on this person big enough to conceal such a massive sword. Either Hans has some power himself, including the ability to summon a giant sword, or the animators forgot to give him the sword before he needed to use it. Tangled. Disappearing Shackles? Number 2 in our video today is brought to us from the movie Tangled, Disney's most current telling of the story of Rapunzel. This movie is one of my favorites, and after watching it countless times, I noticed something a little strange. Towards the end of the film, Gothel captures Flynn, who had assisted Rapunzel in leaving her tower only for the night. After Rapunzel finds him, she sees he is bound by shackles to a wooden post. However, after she kneels beside him, he places a hand on her face. In that scene, we can clearly see his wrist and does not appear to be shackled anymore. Then in the scene immediately after, when we see his wrist again, the shackle is once again visible. Where did it go? It looks like the animators forgot to put it in that small couple of seconds in that scene. And oddly enough, no one caught it before the film had been released. Cinderella. Dress change? Up next, we have arguably the most iconic Disney princess in existence, Cinderella. This is one of the older Disney movies, which is why it's still used in the hand-drawn animation that we all loved. But with older movies like this one, it's not uncommon for things to have gotten changed slightly throughout the movie-making process. Each movement we see from the characters in this film was hand-drawn frame by frame and laid over one after another before animating. This is why the faces of some of the characters may look slightly different. Or in the case of Cinderella, her iconic dress appears to change in a not-so-subtle manner. Though many people did notice it, when she is riding off to her honeymoon with Prince Charming, she is at first shown to be wearing a long-sleeved dress, but when we see the carriage being pulled away by the horses, if you look, her dress has changed to a sleeveless one. I doubt this was intended, but sadly, it's the version that made it into the cut. Honestly, it's a hardly noticeable error, and these things are common throughout the older films all the time, animated or not. The Lion King Eye-opening color changes Taking up the fourth slot today is the original, animated version of Disney's The Lion King. This film was iconic to almost anyone who took the time to watch it. From the musical numbers to the classic story, The Lion King has always been critically acclaimed. It did, however, seem to have a bit of a staring problem. The issue with this movie comes directly from the eyes. Throughout the film, we see Nala, Simba's old friend and love interest, have a bit of a eye-opener color change. In one scene, she has green eyes, and in the next one, she has blue ones. And this isn't a one-scene kind of change. This happens constantly throughout the whole movie. Maybe Nala's eyes had a mood ring sensor to show how she's feeling throughout the movie. Or maybe the animators couldn't decide which color to stick with. Pocahontas – Shadows Discrepancies Number 5 on our list brings us to Pocahontas. Disney released Pocahontas in June of 1995. This movie follows Pocahontas and her tribe of Native Americans as she falls in love with Captain John Smith, who traveled with other settlers to the New World. During the movie, we often see Pocahontas accompanied by her best friend, Nakoma. They are often seen walking together. In one particular scene, the two of them are walking at nighttime and making their way over to a group of guards. Like always, when we see the two of them together, Nakoma is leading Pocahontas by holding her hand and pulling her along. This time, however, the shadows are telling us a different story. In this scene, it's clear that Nakoma is pulling Pocahontas by the hand, but the shadows are drawn as if they are walking with their hands at their sides. This one is rather hard to notice unless you are truly looking for it, but there, nonetheless. Beauty and the Beast 
age inconsistencies. Next, we have another Disney classic, Beauty and the Beast. This classic love story is a tale as old as time. Belle is an extremely intelligent villager who trades her life to be imprisoned in a place of her dying father by the Beast. In this movie, we find out that the Beast used to be a prince who was cursed by an enchantress as punishment for his selfish nature. However, through investigation, this curse seems to have quite the continuity error. The numbers just don't seem to add up. It's math time and the most popular musical number from the movie, Be Our Guest. The animated furniture mentions that they have been cursed for the past 10 years. So, we know it's been at least 10 years, and at the end of the movie, when the Beast is turned back into a prince, we see that he's an adult, assumed to be around the same age as Belle. Well, if this curse happened 10 years ago, that would make the prince only around 11 years old when he got transformed. But at the beginning of the film, we see the prince before being transformed in a painting, and he is clearly portrayed as an adult man, not an 11-year-old boy. So, was he really a child at the time of the curse, or is the painting on the wall invalid? The numbers just don't seem to add up if you ask me. Finding Nemo Density and Buoyancy Issues Pixar's 2003 masterpiece, Finding Nemo, finds itself at number 7 in today's video. This movie inspired a large chunk of a generation to study marine biology and to look into ocean conservation. From its amazing water to the character models, everything about Finding Nemo was absolutely stunning. However, only the true marine biologist caught the mistake in this film. Towards the end of the movie, Nemo's friends from his fish tank prison find themselves floating on the surface of the ocean in plastic bags filled with water. At first, this scenario raised no eyebrows, but if you are familiar with buoyancy and density, you definitely caught how this scene doesn't make much sense. The fish that Nemo met were just like him, saltwater fish. So for them to remain alive in those bags, the water must have also been filled with salt water. If the water inside the bag was the same density as the water outside of the bag, they would not be floating above the water, as we see. Instead, they should be right below the surface. A very small mistake in this film, but it does get some hardcore science nerds frustrated when a movie doesn't follow basic laws of nature. Mulan Disappearing Ink? Eighth place in our video today has us taking a closer look at Disney's Mulan. In this film, we see the main protagonist, Mulan, disguise herself as a male and take her father's place in the war against the Huns. Earlier in the movie, we also see Mulan visit a matchmaker against her will. During this scene, we see something that the animators did not think about. The matchmaker accidentally gets ink all over her fingers, and by unknowingly wiping it on her face, she began to sport a comical mustache. But then we see her pick up a teapot, and surprisingly, there is no transfer of ink onto this plain white surface. This can be seen again later in the film, when Mulan's lucky cricket was using his feet to write up a letter for Mushu. He covers his feet with ink, and begins hopping along the paper, leaving some legible writing. But when he dismounts from the paper, he plants his ink-covered feet onto the table. And once again, there is no transfer of ink. It's doubtful that the ink dried that quickly and would not transfer, so I suppose this was just not considered by the animators. Tarzan – Wolverine Powers? Coming in at number 9, we have Tarzan. Throughout this movie, we get to see Tarzan raised by his family of gorillas and live his wild life in the jungle. One of the more memorable moments in Tarzan was when he fought with Saber, a leopard who was responsible not only for the death of his human parents, but also the death of his adoptive parents and Finn Gorilla. During this fight scene, we see Tarzan take a nasty swipe from Saber, leaving behind deep cuts on his chest. But after defeating the leopard, Tarzan climbs out of a pit and lifts up the dead beast, but with no signs of the nasty injury on his peck. Some say this was to make Tarzan seem less violent, which in today's world would seem odd. But if that is in fact why they removed the cuts, it seemed to work. Tarzan was deemed very child appropriate for its time. I only wish I had his Wolverine healing powers. Up, air pressure factors. Last but not least for today's video, we have Pixar's Up. I think it would surprise you if you knew how much calculation went to figuring out how to make Carl's house fly. This was no easy task, especially when you think about all the things that they need to account for. They need to consider the plumbing, and everything that would connect from the home to the ground. When it came to the number of balloons, they may have tried to figure out an accurate amount, but in the end, they could never really get an exact number. Even if they had, the team also did not account for air pressure that, in the end, would have caused all of the balloons to explode before the house flew too high. This means that even if Carl was able to get off the ground at the beginning, he wouldn't have been able to stay up there for too long due to the air pressure at the higher altitude, further meaning that he would have probably come crashing down to the ground shortly after takeoff. Adding reality to this favorite movie does put a downer on things, 
which is why most fans turn their head to logic of this movie. Sometimes ignoring the facts lets us enjoy our favorite movies more. Despite many of our favorite films having a couple of errors in them, we still love them as if they were perfect. That's all, Disney fans. Let us know in the comments if you know of any other small Disney errors from other movies. And like and subscribe for more magically packed videos.